Welcome to another photography video with me, Leon Bartrom. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to take self-take photography with your smartphone. If you've only just come across this channel and you like these type of videos, then you may wanna think about hitting that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon, and you'll never miss another one of these videos again. Us, as anglers, the most important thing when we catch a fish is to get a proper, nice, crisp, clear, photograph of our catch. Now some of us, we may be fishing alone, so we may not have a friend or someone else on the bank who can take a picture for us. So a way around this is to take self-takes. The technology that we've got to our advantage these days to work for us and to take those shots for us. Not everybody has got access to a DSLR camera. Undoubtedly, they take some absolutely wonderful shots. Even though you can pick up a brilliant one, one that does everything you need, for about three to 400 quid. Sometimes it might be out of someone's price range. There may be a lake where they're traveling light and just having a DSLR with a lens, with a heavy lens on it, just isn't the one. They've got to keep the weight of everything down. But even if you haven't got access to a DSLR, then most of us nowadays have got one of these, a smartphone. There's a couple of things I'm gonna show you how I take my self-takes with a smartphone when I want to keep the load down to a minimum or I'm fishing a lake where I'm hiding away a little bit and I can't take loads of kit or it's difficult to get the swim or whatever the reason is, I can take some really good shots with the technology we've got available now, the crispness of the cameras and the great picture quality on these smartphones. Let's take a look at what you'll need to be able to do self-takes with your smartphone. Now don't worry about all these bits and pieces, don't worry about writing them down. I'll put them all the links in the description below. Okay, so this is what we're gonna need to be able to take self-takes on our phone. First, we need our phone, of course. Now you need to go onto your phone, search the app store, look for an app called the Whistle app. I'm not sure if they do on Android, because I don't have an Android phone, but go to your app store, download an app called the Whistle app. Next thing you'll need, you'll need a bank stick, because you're gonna put this in the ground. You need a bank stick adapter, which is one of these little doobly Fergins, and you're gonna need a mobile mount kit. Again, I'll put all the links in the description below, so don't worry about writing it down. Right, let's go about setting it up and show you how we do it. First thing to do is to get your phone and generally line it up where you're gonna be taking the picture from. Just imagine if you were standing there taking a picture of someone holding a fish in front of the onlooking mat. So frame the shot, fill the frame roughly where you think it's gonna be. Okay, then you get your bank stick and you put that in the ground. Now I use one of these D-bit bank sticks because it'll go into anything at all. Uh, you can get, you can put that in the bloody stones and everything. And I use a little adapter on the top that's got a little bubble which gives me the levels. So I put that in there and I screw that in and I get it absolutely level so I know when I take the shot it's not all going to be at one angle or one side you've got a little bubble level there which tells you that your phone is going to be level towards where you're going to take the shot from so we put that in and we get our mobile mount kit and we get our bank stick adapter and we screw that in you screw the bank stick adapter into the mobile mount kit then you screw that into your bank stick head and then you get your phone and you position that in your mobile mount like so so you've got it like that so if you see here you've got your mobile mount kit now you tighten that up on your bank stick in the ground and then we go to the next step don't forget to set the camera so it's pointing towards where the fish is normally it'd be, if you're holding the camera away it'll be pointing away and what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to look at the screen so you can get the fish how you want it get it all up and then what you do is once you're happy with how the fish is it, once it's calmed down you've got it in position it's all ready to take a lovely shot you look at the camera you're all in frame you fill filled the frame all you do is you like that you give a whistle and it'll count down from three, two, one, and it'll take the shot for you. Just repeat that as many times as you want. It takes a little bit of setting up, but once you do it a few times, you'll be able to take perfect self-takes every time you go fishing just from your phone. Now, I hope that's been helpful to you. If you've got any questions or queries, 
about this particular video, email me or ask the questions in the comments section below and I'll answer them about the app and about how to set it up or anything you're having problems with. Don't forget, if you like this type of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification key, and you'll never miss another one of these photography videos again. See you for the next photography video.